In most enterprises, the crown jewels, the data that hackers are after, resides either on the mainframe or in databases of different uh, brands and types or in systems controlled by Active Directory. And those hackers will use the network to actually go and try to escalate and get to the mainframe, to the databases, and to Active Directory. And SIM systems like Curator are very good to detect how the actual users are, the hackers are trying to gain that access. But you need to get information from the actual systems themselves. So what's the, uh, the, the initial approach is to actually bring logs from these systems into an SIEM like Curator and then interpret those. Is that a good approach? What are the problems of that approach? And we'll see that, that, that bringing all those logs is probably not a good idea. Well, first of all, the number of logs or events versus the security content on them is actually very, very small. In other words, you can have tons of SMS records coming from the mainframe. You know, gazillion numbers of logs coming from your Oracle DB2 SQL database. Uh, uh, and same thing from Active Directory. Very talkative system, but very few of those messages have any any security context. So that might be good from the, if you if you actually sell curator and you want to get the events per second uh, count go high, but it's not the most efficient way of actually uh, using uh, your resources precisely because there are going to be very many events processed with very few in uh, uh, content on, on the security side. Another problem is that you need to create rules that are very specific. They need to fire when they detect something by, but that is specific to the way that the databases are run in your company. This is not generic rules that you get, like you get in Curator out of the box. They need to be very, very much tweaked out to determine what the naming conventions of your databases are, more so on the mainframe. In the mainframes, you know, all those data sets that have eight characters, uh, you need to know what is relevant in there, what's not. And of course, in your AD environment and the applications that are secure with AD. So it's a lot of work on the SIM side to process all those events, find out what the rules are, need to, to fire. The other thing is that these systems rely on basically self-policing. Self so you, you rely on your mainframe guy to make sure that you know he's doing the right thing and he's, he's doing everything to keep you secure and he himself is not you know, uh, trying to uh, um, go against any security rules. Same thing on a database. A database guy can uh, turn the logs off and uh, and and do you know a query into the payroll database to figure out how much people make. And same thing with Active Directory. You can actually uh, uh, change policies in Active Directory and n don't have any log actually firing. The other problem is that all these approaches. I mean, allows you to see when the cows leave the farm, but uh, you cannot really prevent it. So you have a way of really blocking those bad things from actually happening. Another problem is that in, with this type of approaches, bringing just the logs, it's not easy to prove compliance, to satisfy your uh, auditors in terms of the, the things that they want to see. Let's see what a better approach to that is. So what you can have is some agents, I mean, almost everything that you get in Curator is agent-less, but we'll see that there is a case for having some agent. See secure on the mainframe. Guardium on any brand of databases. And intercept from Stellbit on your AD environment. And what are the things that you can actually do? Well, first of all, you're not going to be sending logs, as we said before. What you're going to be getting is very few, but very relevant events. And in fact, you can actually treat every one of those as 
an offense itself because it's something that in the mainframe say, well, I set up the mainframe to say whenever somebody touches this particular data set and it's not on that particular, uh, you know, uh, uh, group of individuals, you know, fire an, uh, an event, and that event can be treated as an offense. And then you can see from the network, oh, the guy, you know, was doing uh, login failures, he logged into a, a, a machine here, he escalated privilege there, and then I get that information from, from the mainframe. Curator brings all that into a single offense as that allows you to see the entire picture. Same thing with the databases. You're going to be getting some events about things that, you know, uh, that precisely when that if you get a DB admin uh, that has full access right but he's not supposed to run SQL queries onto the payroll database when he does that you're going to get uh, an, an event uh, sent to curator same thing with Active Directory somebody makes a, a, a change on a policy and assign a special privilege to a particular user again uh, without having to get logs on you can actually uh, determine that uh, get that into into the into the curator and you can do that with a mainframe with a green screen that is you know something that your green screen guy knows about your specific environment same thing with the database that is specific to your environment and same thing to AD all in mainframe database and, and AD language itself you also have the uh, the advantage of not having to rely on self self policing because all these uh, uh, agents are hardened meaning not even the administrator can actually remove them. So that's actually a, a very good. And most importantly, they definitely can block things. You can say, you can ask Guardian to block and see secure and, and intercept to block some actions you don't want them to happen and also to inform curator uh, about those things. And they all have very good and specific reporting that helps you uh, prove compliance to your auditors, again, without collecting any logs.